Hello, welcome back to East Stage Tutorials. My name is Chris, and this is the place where you find all things related to East Stage tips, tricks, tutorials, uh, business building, hub building, building your home on the internet. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about switching from WordPress to another platform. In my case, switching from WordPress to East Stage. Now, don't get me wrong, WordPress is a monster out there. It powers so many websites um, and it is a powerful, useful tool that millions and millions of people use. But here's the thing, it's also prone to breaking and being hacked and crashing your site and various other things. So let me talk about switching from WordPress to, in my case, eStage. So I have lots of clients, lots of customers, and lots of people who choose to use WordPress, whether it's just they're familiar with it or it's what they know, it's what their web admin got them set up on. But here's the thing, if you've ever managed WordPress whatsoever, you know that when the plugin updates, it can break your site. When up WordPress updates, it can break your site. When the theme updates, it can break your site. And as an administrator, this can be a real headache, right? You almost don't want to update anything until it's been out for a while. And you definitely want to make sure that you have backups or a development server and various other things, right? If you've ever managed a WordPress site, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm a coder by trade. I started out life as a coder, so I know how to maintain the server, how to update the plugins, how to, you know, uh, back up, switch the environments, do all of that stuff. But really, at the end of the day, if you're just building a business or you're a blogger, you really just don't want to do any of that, to be honest, right? You just want your website to work, you know? And so the great thing about WordPress is you can, there's a million and a half plugins that you can plug in and you can tweak and you can basically make it whatever you want, right? Kind of no code, basically, more or less. But it's kind of a, a misnomer or a, a double-edged sword. You can install all these plugins and make this website exactly how you want it. But the more plugins you install, the more vulnerable you are. So I switched over to eStage. And the reason I did that is because, A, I just get tired of code coding. I get tired of, you know, hosting and doing the server updates and doing all of that stuff. And I just want a place where I can build my business uh, on the internet, have my home, have my hub, you know, have the place that I can just kind of focus all my effort and just really grow with a company uh, and not really a worry about all that stuff, right? So I chose eStage, which is what we're looking at right here. This is, you know, just a demo page that I use for a lot of these tutorials. And the thing I really love about eStage is, is it's it's really stepping into the marketplace as a place to build your home on the internet, to build your hub, to build your business, right? There's a lot of places you can go to build landing pages and you need landing pages in your business, but you also need more than landing pages, right? It's uh, as we speak, they're developing a membership site and uh, e-commerce platform and various other aspects. Uh, and it's just awesome. Every day they're releasing new updates, they squash the bugs. And basically all I have to do and all you have to do if you wanna consider switching from WordPress, WordPress is you just plug in, uh, build your business, tweak your stuff and away you go, right? I can't tell you the amount of stress that switching to eStage has uh, has saved me. And it, it's ironic because when uh, eStage originally started, they started on WordPress. So there was these uh, website uh, WordPress eStage themes and all these plugins, custom plugins and stuff. But what the company found very quickly is what we've all experienced is that it's really a pain to create a custom WordPress hosted environment. You know, WordPress.com has been doing it for a long time, but there's limitations. There's, you know, you don't wanna use WordPress.com, honestly. I don't want to anyway. Um, and so eStage found that same thing, that WordPress is great, but just for those of us who wanna focus on building our business, building our brand, and not monkeying with all this stuff and worrying about whether or not our site's going to break, so the company eStage and Vic Strasshaus, who is the founder of eStage, um, actually pivoted away from WordPress to eStage, uh, which I think is an awesome move. It's, it's a great move. 
uh, because now uh, the platform that they're building and that they have, it's just you go in, it's plug and play, you drop things, it's an easy editor, it's what you see is what you get. And it, does it have a million and a half plugins? No. Does it have millions and millions of themes to choose from? No. But the things that it does have is exactly what you need. They're high quality. They don't break. And if ever there's a bug, they update them immediately. Um, so today is not really a, a tips and tricks video. Today is just a kind of expressing my gratitude, putting it out there in the universe, how thankful I am for eStage and how much time it's given me back in my day uh, where I can just kind of focus on building my business, making YouTube videos, building my list and all of that without monkeying around in WordPress. And so this channel is all about eStage, but I really did want to take a moment to talk about um, eStage, their vision of allowing you just to build your home on the internet, your hub, you know, it has landing pages, it has a builder, it has a blog, and they're building memberships and all sorts of stuff, right? Um, and to have all of those things in WordPress, you need like a million different plugins, and it just gets clunky and weird, and it breaks. And so, yeah, I, this video is just, I, I want you to consider you know, if you follow me on either this channel or my other channels or my email list, um, I just want you to know if you're a follower of me, uh, I have switched from WordPress to eStage and I'm encouraging everybody uh, to do the same. Uh, anyone that I work with, my clients and everything, it doesn't make sense in every scenario, but for the scenarios that it does make sense, I'm encouraging them to switch. So if you'd like to know uh, how you can access eStage, you know, see how I build my business on eStage, see how you can get plugged in. There are links below the video as usual. Yeah, just click around, see if it's for you. Maybe it's not, and that's okay. Um, but man, the time I've got back from broken code and websites crashing in WordPress, it's just, I can't even count the days and hours that I've spent doing that. And so, uh, I'm recording this video. I'm going to be sending it to my list. I'm going to be uploading it to my uh, personal membership site and a couple other places off of YouTube. Um, but this version will live on YouTube. And uh, if you follow me at all, um, check it out. I, I don't think you will regret it. So if you do end up switching, uh, this is the place for YouTube tips, tricks, tutorials on eStage. And uh, we're going to be doing build outs and various other things. So like, subscribe, and um, we'll cut it there. So catch you on the flip side. Peace.